Western government hire technical uh, experts on these different topics. So for them, negotiating at these UN conventions is serious business. But for our countries, most times they don't quite know exactly what's being negotiated. They don't quite know exactly what's on the table, what its implications are. And that continues up to today. So we find that even now with the CBD, the main thing they're pushing is 30% of the earth to be protected, to be classified as protected areas by 2030. And most of us, including our government representatives and our government delegation, don't understand the implications of that. And we're already seeing the impact of putting more land under protected areas. Like, for example, having these big NGOs now working together with corporations. You saw the UNFCC being sponsored by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is this monster that actually has taken up most you know, water sources, even in the US, and turned people to drinking this syrup, which causes a lot of you know, health problems, yet they're, they're drying up aquifers. Everybody knows the problems with Coca-Cola and they're turning out a lot of plastic, yet now they are the ones being allowed to sponsor the major conference where governments which represent citizens come to negotiate on a very critical issue of climate change. So it just shows you the extent to which Western yeah. corporations have taken an interest and have grabbed the, 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 the negotiations that yeah. are being done by government. So those are some of the problems. One is the relatively low knowledge about what's really on the table, what's being negotiated. That is something that is only understood by very few people. And you see that when you also have the carbon credits, like uh, there is the, the Nature Conservancy has negotiated for carbon credits for community conservancies in northern Kenya and through the soil, it's called an NGO called, it's actually a, a private company, Soils for the Future. They've managed to negotiate for a 30 year agreement on carbon credits from these conservancies where the, there's, a, there's even a, the, the private company that could be providing those resources through the Nature Conservancy and its creation, the Northern Rangelands Trust. So this is involving 16 conserv community conservancies. And then now the Northern Rangelands Trust is requiring those communities to write proposals requesting for this money. 